Hey guys, this is Piet van der Velde from Erie Research. Today I'm gonna talk to you about tire and rim sizing and how, how they affect each other and how they work together. Uh, there's been a lot of questions from our Facebook and Instagram and direct messages about this. So I thought, uh, you know, maybe it's best to make a little video of this to explain it to everybody who would like to know. Um, and if you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the question box below. Uh, and then I'll get back to you one-on-one uh, -on -one directly. But let's get into this. So tire and rim sizing, how did that come about, right? Who made the rules and, and who thought this all up? It's actually the ETRTO. ETRTO is the organization in Europe that uh, governs or, say, or sets the rules on how the manufacturers in cars, bicycles, motorcycles, airplanes, if they have any wheels with tires on them, how they should uh, be uh, made and which sizing they should uh, refer to and work with. Uh, it's called the European Tire and Rim Technology Organization. That's what ETRTO stands for. And we as a tire company and as a wheel slash rim company also have to follow these rules. Uh, just like any other uh, wheel tire brand in the market. But uh, there's been a lot of confusion lately about some of these things and I'd like to, uh, like to help you understand how they work. So uh, when you make a wheel or a tire purchase, you can, uh, you can take notice and think, hey, maybe I have to check before I buy. Um, so it works a little bit like this. Um, there's a few things that are important in this uh, uh, thing and that is the rim, the rim width, the tire and the tire width because uh, rims um, for road racing, for gravel racing, or for mountain biking have different widths, right? For different uh, width tires. Uh, but where does it stop and where does it end? That's important to know. Um, for instance, most commonly uh, in the market today for road racing wheels are 19 millimeter uh, rims. And 19 millimeter rims, it's measured like this. Uh, for instance, if I have a rim here, right, and I take my measure, I measure in between like that, then that's between this point and that point, the inner points of the rim, it should say 19 millimeters. Then I know I have a 19 millimeters rim. Uh, at Airy, we make our road uh, tires for 19 millimeter rims. So if you take an Airy 20, 24, 26 or 28 millimeter tire, the range is 25 to 28, that's what ETRTO says. So if you use these tires from every research, then they will fit a 19C wheel and they will also measure like they are designed to be on that 19 millimeter wheel. Meaning that if I put a 26 millimeter tire like this on my 19C inner rim or in my rim profile like that, right? This will be 19 millimeters and this will be 26. Now there's a little variable of pressure. You can imagine if you put uh, five bars of pressure in a tire, a tire, you know, doesn't expand so much and maybe the size could be, you know, for 26 tire, it could be 25.5 millimeters, for instance. When you jack up the pressure between uh, to six or seven or maybe eight bar, then the tire expands because of all the pressure, the air pressure and size, and it becomes 26 or 26.4 millimeters, something like that. So also the pressure, uh, right? The expanding pressure of the air inside the, the tire uh, affects the size of the tire a little bit, of course. But that's logic. If you blow up a balloon, it gets bigger and smaller. The tire is a balloon, so that's what it does. Um, but there are limits to that. So it won't, won't stretch, stretch beyond, you know, you cannot inflate a 26 millimeter tires so it becomes in 28 millimeter tires it will it will explode before that happens so so don't do that don't explode your tires okay um to give you an idea we get a lot of people that buy some of our tires that say hey i've bought a a 26 millimeter tire but when i put it on my bicycle all of a sudden it measures 25 or 24 or or even smaller right how how does that uh, happen most of the time, it's, uh, it comes from people that ride vintage bicycles. 
or maybe I shouldn't say vintage, a little bit older, that have wheels like this. Maybe, you know, this is an example. This is a Mavic Kisirim. This is a 90s wheel set. But these have an inner width of 17 millimeters, right? So imagine now instead of 19 millimeters for an inner rim width, if this is 19, right? This size is 19. Now all of a sudden I'm making that 17 millimeter, right? So if I bring in the rim like that, I make the rim smaller, my tire gets smaller. So all of a sudden, when I take off minus one mil, minus one mil here, and I make it 17 instead of 19, the balloon of my tire is no longer 26, it becomes 24.5 or something, you know? So, what I'd like to show you here is that you have to pay real good attention that you use the right tire combination with the right rim. Because yes, you can use all the size rims on the rims that are not intentionally designed for it, but the performance of the tire, the reliability of the tire, and the safety of the tire will not be guaranteed. You have to really pay attention to that because you can imagine if I put a, on a 17 millimeter rim, a let's say a 28 millimeter tire it becomes a huge balloon and the tire becomes very unstable to ride you get a lot of uh, rolling of the tire and in the corners you might feel like you're slipping away so you have to pay good attention to that plus uh, at Erie Research we make the tire and we make the wheel so we are the ones that you know we can guarantee that what we say is the same size and is guaranteed in that way but that doesn't always work like that. There's not many companies that do that. Um, you can buy tires from you know any German or Italian or American tire brand, um, but you always have you know have look in the technical specifications before you buy for what rim the tire is made for. You know because there's a lot of 25 millimeter tires that have been designed for 17 millimeter uh, rims but those tires already exist for 15 to 20 years and they've been, never been changed. So if you put a 25 millimeter tire on an old school or on a new 19 millimeter rim and it's been engineered for 17 millimeters, it's not a 25, it's a 23 millimeter tire. You know where I'm going with this? So the thing is, pay attention. So we have, our range is 25 between 28 millimeters are tires that fit 19 C wheels. Um, we also have the 21C gravel wheels, but we use tires that are from 29 to 34 millimeters for that. Okay, so if you have a pair of wheels at home and you are thinking about purchasing a new set of tires and you're thinking about 28 millimeter tires, measure what the inner width of your rim is, right? Let's say I have, you have a fairly new pair of wheels, but you could have 17, you could have 19, or you can have even 21 in your wheel set. For that reason, it's important to know that if you want to buy 28 millimeter tires, check what the tire is made for. Is that tire made for the pair of wheels that you have in your bicycle? Then you expect to ride a 28 millimeter tire on your rim? Make sure it matches because it's not always the case. All right. Uh, a lot of tire brands, including ourselves, we will recommend uh, if you go to our website, which, which wheel to use, which side wheel or rim size to use with our tires. Uh, many other brands do that as well. Um, every brand should do. And the other brand, uh, way around, uh, the wheel makers should do as, uh, it as well. But it's not always a given and it's not common knowledge. So that's why I'm taking the opportunity to explain this a little bit to you. So, you know, people are a little bit more cautious when they're buying rims or buying tires or a combination of both so i hope this helped you understand uh, the technology or the sizing technology between tires and rims a little bit more and uh, if you still have more uh, questions please put them down in the messages box and i'll answer them straight to you um, furthermore thank you for watching and uh, have a good day to you cheers <laughs>